When school lets out, many low-income children lose access to school breakfast, lunch, and after-school snacks. Utah statistics reveal that one in six children face the pain and stress of hunger. And we say one in six children, they're not sure, their parents are not sure where their next meal may come from, meaning tight, tight budget. Summer nutrition programs in Washington County attempt to fill this void by putting a hot meal in the bellies of thousands of children in need. We have a lot of low income. We have a lot of homeless in our community. The summer feeding programs provide free meals and snacks to low income children under 18 when school is not in session. For those students ages 1 to 18, there are no questions asked. And so we, we choose our sites where we know that it will be more profitable for the children to be able to, to come to the sites and for them to have the meals that, that they need during the day. The average headcount for children using the service during the summer months is around 2,500 students. Some of the seven sites where the meals are offered are seeing as high as 400 school-aged children per noon hour, all standing in line to receive a free lunch. There are children out there that don't have um, a meal prepared for them, and at least we know that they'll get one good meal during the day. Summer Food Project volunteer coordinator Fernando Victoria hands out about 60 to 80 meals a day, Tuesday through Friday, at Sandtown Park on Bluff Street. Fernando knows his mission makes a difference in the lives of both the students and the parents who come back each week. I think it's great that it's balanced and I love that it's like whole week because that fills them up longer and they have a, a choice of the fruit and stuff. Well, we are helping the community and uh, we've realized uh, how many people are really struggling in this area. During the school year, about 14,000 children are served school meals, with about 38% of those being offered at free or reduced prices. Subsidized by federal and state aid, both the Washington County School District and the Southern Utah Food Bank are working together to fill a gap during the summer months. So I claim the meals um, to the state office and that's how I am reimbursed. We're working in conjunction with the school district, so we're hoping to fill a little bit of the gap where they have not um, had the resources to, to come to. Preparing and handing out these lunches at each site during the summer months keeps volunteers and employees very busy. It's a sandwich, primarily chicken and turkey. Um, they get a cheese stick in it, they get a juice, uh, they get a milk, and then we have fruit. <laughs> Mothers bring their kids and when we're out in the parks, they make a picnic out of it. They're there, they're enjoying it, it's family time too. It takes a budget of around $9 million for the school system's food program year round. And it takes warehouses to house the food to feed these students. The meals are carefully planned out, well balanced and nutritious. It also gives them a place to go and hang out with their friends and family. Come to the park, they play with the other kids they saw last year, and it becomes a social event that's very important, especially if your funds are limited. The kids love getting out, and it's a nice way for them to get lunch, um, and they love being around all the other kids. And family members or friends over age 18 can purchase meals from the school program for just four dollars. It's a federal regulation. They are to stay at the site and eat it on site. Uh, we are able to, they are able to take if they have left over some fruit uh, or their milk, they can take that home with them. Many have stated they don't know what a lot of parents and children would do without these free and reduced meals year round. Whether they walk, carpool, or even ride their bikes, once they get there, it takes about an hour and 15 minutes to feed all of the children who come for their free lunch. Anyone wanting to help can volunteer their time to serve, spread the word, or can always drop off any food donations at the food share outlets. This is one summer program that fulfills needs as it continues to grow. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.